Hello and welcome Inyo fans. This is a continuation of Inyo Pool's equipment selection series. In this video, we will focus on sanitation equipment. We'll be explaining their functionality, sizing, and the advantages of each category. Yep, there are three basic types of sanitizers. This includes chlorine tablet feeders, salt chlorine generators, and alternative sanitizers such as mineral cartridges, ozonators, and ionizers. Per usual, we will explain the most common of these three devices first, and in that case, tablet feeders are our first victim. There are three common types of tablet feeders. This includes floaters, inline chlorinators, and offline chlorinators. The most basic feeder is the floater. Basically, you fill the container with as many tablets as it will hold and then drop it in your pool. The float acts like a chlorine tea bag, constantly releasing sanitizing chemicals to keep your pool clean. The float is the easiest of the feeders to maintain, but it is the least efficient way of chlorination. The dispensing of chlorine is relatively slow, lacking the quick dissolve capabilities that our next two vessels offer. Those two are the offline and the inline chemical feeders. A couple questions we get a lot during the summer are, what is the difference between the two and which one should I use for my pool? Oh yeah, that question pops up a ton. Mm -hmm. uh, the inline chlorinator is installed directly inline with your plumbing. The water is directed through the container where it dissolves the tablets and then the chlorinated water is sent back to the pool. Inline chlorinators are usually found on new installations or full renovations as the installer can better plan a location to install the chlorinator on a stretch of pipe. On the other hand, the offline model sits aside your plumbing line and uses feeder tubes to draw water into the vessel for mixing and then sent back to your water uh, using the main line. Offline chlorinators are normally found on pools that are being retrofit. The installation is very simple because no cutting is required. You simply have to drill two holes for the inlet and return tubing. The chlorine output on both the inline and offline chlorinators can be adjusted by an output dial. Now we'll move on to a sanitizer that is quickly becoming a new favorite among new pool builders, and that's salt chlorine generators. Once a rarity, salt chlorine generators are cropping up in backyards everywhere as tales of the generator's simplicity and light maintenance load spread. Salt chlorine generators consist of two main parts, the power panel and the electrode cell. The power panel normally doubles as the control center for the generator, where the user can check the water's salt levels, health of the cell, and any fault alerts happening within the generator system. The cell is where all the magic happens, and by magic, I mean the wonderful chemical reaction, electrolysis. Mm -hmm. These generators make their chlorine by passing salt water over titanium blades as a small electric charge is applied. As the salt particles strike the blade, the sodium chloride molecule splits, freeing the chlorine atom to go full Rambo on all the nearby microbes and bacteria. Just imagine a chlorine atom with a red headband going to town on a gang of microbes. Yeah, that's a movie I'd like to see. I'd, I'd see four of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, salt generators also include a flow switch to sense when the pump is pushing enough water to safely operate the cell. The salt systems also have a super chlorinate feature which causes the generator to run at 100% output for 24 hours in order to shock the pool. This is usually used after a high bather load or a lot of rain. You're probably wondering how to size a salt chlorine generator. Salt chlorine generators are sized by the max amount of gallons a cell can chlorinate. For example, the Pentair and Telechlor IC20, 40, and 60 can chlorinate a max gallons of 20,000, 40,000, and 60,000 gallons respectively. When sizing a salt generator for your pool, we suggest oversizing a cell to prolong the cell's life. And now onto the wonderful world of alternative sanitizers. Alternative sanitizers are great for people who are sensitive to chlorine. These alternatives include ozonators, ionizers, and mineral treatments like Nature 2 systems. In our experience, these options are best used in combination with one of the other chlorination systems because these options alone are usually not strong enough to sanitize a pool with a regular bather load. What these systems allow you to do is dramatically reduce the chlorine level in the pool. A normal chlorine level in a pool is 2 to 4 parts per million. But with an alternative sanitizer, you can keep the chlorine level at 0.3 to 0.5 parts per million, and that's basically tap water. Another benefit to alternative sanitizers is that by reducing the chlorine demand, you reduce the need to replace chlorine tablets or salt cells. For a more in-depth look at the differences between ozonators, ionizers, and mineral purifiers, check out our blog regarding alternative sanitizers. That just about wraps it up about sanitizers. I hope you are as psyched about chlorination systems as I am right now. Woo! If you have any further questions about chlorinators or their alternatives, please feel free to give us a call at 877-372-6038. And if you're enjoying the series and find the information helpful, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next part of the series covering pool lights.